Hello everyone. Today we will learn about carbohydrates. Now what are carbohydrates? As you can see the food that has been shown in these pictures are taken by us on a daily basis. So carbohydrates are something which is very much required by your body and is required in a very good amount. So now let us know what carbohydrates are. Welcome to educators, myself Mandishta Chatterjee. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and put the bell icon for more notifications. Now over here as you can see is a food pyramid. Now what is a food pyramid? A food pyramid is a shape, like a pyramidal shape which shows the inclusion of food in your daily diet. That means the food that, that you will take on a daily basis. Over here as you can see the lower portion that is the last step of the food pyramid is full of bread pastas, bugit buns, okay, cereals, maybe some pulses are also there. Next, it is fruits and vegetables, the full fruits and vegetables. And also at the top, there are some uh, cakes, pastries, oils, sugars, all these things are there. And in a limited source, it is given like the butter, the uh, milk, yogurt, etc. And the protein rich or the fish, meat, etc. Now, as you can see that the whole, this bottom thing is full of carbohydrates. Now, why, how do you know that these are carbohydrates? We will go and move forward and you know that whatever you eat throughout the day, maximum of it is carbohydrate because the maximum portion, as you can see, rather these are also carbohydrate. These are also carbohydrate. So, maximum of your diet is mainly carbohydrates. So today we will learn about what these carbohydrates are. So if we go to the definition, basically they are the polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones or they are compound that will yield either or both of this compound upon hydrolysis. That means if you take a carbohydrate and you mix it with water, they will produce something which is known as polyhydroxy either aldehydes or polyhydroxy ketones. These are basically compounds which are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and here the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen is 2 is to 1 like that of water. So carbohydrates are basically known as the hydrates of carbon. So these are also known as hydrates of carbon. So, carbohydrates are something which is made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen in the ratio of 2 is to 1 and like that of water and forming the hydrates of carbon. So, if we come to this point like polyhydroxyaldehydes or ketones, what do you mean by this term polyhydroxy? What is this aldehyde? What is this ketone? Let us go to a fine structure. As you can see that this is the structure of glucose. In our next video, we will definitely move about the monosaccharides of the glucose and we will learn about them in detail. But over here, we are just focusing on the polyhydroxy part. So, it is over here in the definition is mentioned that it is made up of carbon. So, here is a carbon chain, a six carbon chain as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Six carbon chain. There are hydrogen, obviously, H, H over here, and oxygen, that is O, O, O. So, now the hydrogen and oxygen ratio is 2 is to 1. That means hydrogen will be just double of oxygen. So, let us, the, let us calculate the oxygen first over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, now if we can calculate the hydrogen, we can see 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, 6 oxygen and 12 hydrogen. So, 
the definition is we are meeting the definition that's 2 is to 1. So hydrogen and oxygen is 2 is to 1. We have this group, the CHO group, the bond CHO group that is the aldehyde group. And we also have this OH that is hydroxyl group. Again, another structure over here, we can see the same we have hydroxyl group, we have carbon, we have hydrogen, we have oxygen and moreover we are not having the same group, we are having another group which is known as the ketone group. So if we now move on to the definition once again, we can find that carbohydrate can be defined as polyhydroxy. Polyhydroxy means many hydroxy group many hydroxyl groups so over here you can see which are the hydroxyl groups so there are many hydroxyl groups polyhydroxy aldehyde that is this is the aldehyde or the ketone this is the ketone group and they will yield uh, either this aldehyde or this ketone upon hydrolysis that means when you are splitting with the help of water now to the second characteristic part it is made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and over here the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen is 2 is to 1. I have just calculated oxygen is 6 and hydrogen is 12. So carbohydrates definition is clear. What is it is basically it is also clear. Now let's move forward to the basic classification of carbohydrate which is on the basis of sugar unit. Now when we are talking about carbohydrates so that means hydrates of carbon. So now let us see what are the sugar unit, uh, what is the classification based on sugar unit. Carbohydrates on the basis of sugar unit are classified into four segments. One is monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide and polysaccharide. From the name itself you can understand saccharide means sugar unit, mono means one. That means monosaccharides are those carbohydrates which contain only one sugar molecule. Di means 2, so they are containing 2 sugar molecules. Oligo means 2 to 10, so when there is more than 2 but less than 10, it is oligosaccharide. And when there is more than 10, it is polysaccharide. Poly means many. So if we can go forward to the, class, uh, to the uh, different examples of monosaccharides, we have 3. One is glucose, fructose and galactose. Disaccharides are sucrose, lactose and maltose. Oligosaccharides are raffinose and stachyose. And polysaccharides are starch, glycogen and cellulose. Classification can also done on the basis of sugar unit. Over here we are showing that how they are linked or how they look like. So when we are talking about monosaccharides, they are simple single sugar that is only one molecule of sugar mono means one saccharide means sugar unit only one molecule when it is disaccharide we are linking two molecules with a bond and polysaccharide we are linking more than two molecules with bond so this is how they look like we will definitely move into the detail of monosaccharide disaccharide and polysaccharide we'll cover them up in different videos On the basis of solubility, carbohydrates can be defined as sugar and non-sugar. Sugar are those which you can, you know what are the sugary items. How, how we can see sugar are always soluble in water. So if you take a sugar, a candy or anything like that, if you mix it with water, it will be soluble. But if you take some husk, some, some husk like um, fiber, any kind of fiber, that will not be soluble in water. So on the basis of solubility, we have sugar, which are the, all the sugary products and the non-sugar, mainly the fiber and the cellulose. Now we will go to the, or learn about the different sources of monosaccharide. Glucose, mainly fruits and some vegetables are also there, but mainly fruits are there in glucose. For fructose, few fruits and obviously honey, Honey is a great source of fructose. Keep that in mind. And for galactose, it is basically milk and milk products. Sources of disaccharides. Sucrose is basically table sugar. Maltose is malt. Malt is basically a thing which we make from cereal. We steep the cereal. We, uh, I have already discussed about the different types of uh, cereals in my last 
a video so we will steep the uh, those cereals and we will try to mold them okay so that is maltose and lactose is again a source from which we get uh, uh, lactose we get from milk and milk products sources of oligosaccharides are mainly pulses and also few green uh, vegetables for polysaccharides we have a great source of starch over here this is a storage of uh, glycogen and cellulose so mainly vegetables and uh, green leafy vegetables and few like potatoes grains pastas uh, bananas they are good source of starches and also liver and muscles are the storage unit of storage place of glycogen so they are also good source of glycogen now uh, people do tell tell me maybe uh, you have heard about this fact that don't eat carbs carbs are not very good for your health but we have to understand that carbohydrate forms the base of the diet any diet that we take carbohydrate forms the base of it so good carb or bad carb you have to know the difference between a good carb and a bad carb you can't say that we don't need carb but carb is not required but you need to differentiate between a good carb and a bad carb so now what are the good carbs good carbs are basically those which gives you a lot of fiber because fibers are very very essential for your health and low quality carbohydrates or bad carbs are basically those are aerated drinks very sugary candy sugary items uh, pastas too much of them are not very good for health so what i'll say is that you always definitely will try to have those also but you have to balance them at the same time with some good carbohydrates so carbohydrates must be balanced in your diet by a good carb and also a bad carb now let us know what is the good carb pyramid so we have a downward pyramid in the first slide you have seen an upward pyramid so this is a downward pyramid that means which one is best is on the top so leafy and colorful vegetables are the very good carb fresh fruits berries nuts are very good carbs they are very good sources of monosaccharides sweet potatoes yams pumpkin and whole grains potatoes are on the lower side so if you make a plate and you will see what fruits you are taking what vegetables you are taking and you can calculate the good and the bad carb the whole day how much you are taking you can understand you can have a grip of what type of carbohydrates you are taking so what i'll suggest this is a plate now you have to fill in this plate with the type of carb you are taking throughout the day maybe that's a good carb or maybe that's a bad carb so what you will do is that maybe you take tomorrow's time and you will list down whatever carb you are taking throughout the day and from the examples that i've shown so what you will do is that you will take care of all those carb you will list them down and you will write them in the plate so that's all for today thank you so much